everyone. So let's get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, I do channel a few different energy groups on here. It's just, you know, whatever my spirit guides lead me to channel, whatever comes to me, I put it out there. So this may or may not be your energy group. Only take it if it resonates. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Nine of Cups. Let's see. Nine of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Why the juggling? It's like someone wants to make a love offer here because they see a Ten of Pentacles for, with someone. I feel like the love offer, it's just like a gesture that someone's wanting to make here. But they see that there's going to be a battle. It's almost like they're preparing for some kind of battle and they're trying to balance their emotions out. But they know, they're they're looking at, it's almost like someone's kind of going inward and they're preparing themselves for something. They're preparing themselves for some kind of a deep conversation with you or some kind of um, like heart-to-heart -heart talk, like trying to get on the same page with you. Because I just get like a mixed energy here, especially with the two of pentacles, where it's like they see this as, you know, they're, they're happily ever after, you know, true love, family, inheritance, um, maybe even like buying a home together, I'm hearing for somebody. It's like they see it as their wish fulfillment and they're wanting to make a gesture so that they can get on this path, get on this timeline. But they're also just seeing it as like a battle. The nine of wands is like, Somebody who's near that point of just exhaustion. Somebody who's near the Ten of Wands, which is, the Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. You just, you can't handle anymore. So this person's like almost at that point, like rock bottom kind of. Um, it's like this energy of like, let's give this one final try basically is what I'm feeling here. Because it's like they're seeing it, but they're feeling like it's, it, Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. It's like they, they see it as one final battle the king of wands tell me more about this situation what are they preparing themselves for ten of swords ten of cups three of swords death the hermit okay justice yeah, this is that energy group. And I'm going to do a, a new love reading too because I, I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I know you guys have been wanting that. So I want to I want to do that reading for you guys too. I want to start uh, channeling that energy group as well because um, I know some of you are waiting for the past person. Some of you are ready for new love. Some of, some of you are kind of, you know, in between. You're, you're open. You're neutral to, you know, whoever steps up. But it seems like this person thinks that you're already with someone and you're not. I think that, um, I feel like this past person just, it's, it's like they're assuming the worst right now. I get a lot of anxiety from them. I feel like they're really alone right now. Like, I feel like, um, it, it's just kind of, it, it's kind of going over energy we've already gone over, but it's just like an update on where they're at now on what I'm, you know, what I'm feeling from that energy group. But it's like, you know, I feel like they're really alone right now. They're kind of isolating themselves and maybe not wanting to go out a lot. Uh, if they are, it's like they're just trying to distract themselves. But I feel like even if they go out and they're, you know, social, they I, I get the energy of someone who's like not having a good time. Like they might go out and try to have a few drinks or try to talk to people or meet people. But it's like they're just I just get this energy of someone who's like, like, at a club or like a festival or some kind of social event, but it's almost like they're kind of just like depressed. Like they're not really like, they're not finding people there that really resonate with them to talk to. Or it's like, if they do talk to anybody, it's like, they're just kind of like missing you. Like they're missing somebody else. Like they're um, kind of in their head. Like they're too distracted to be able to socialize. Cause I just get like their energy isn't matching the environment basically is what I'm feeling when they go out someplace. So I feel like a lot of them are just, I mean, they're feeling very alone, whether they're social or not, but a lot of them are just kind of staying at home right now. Um, 
And that is the divine justice, the karma that we talked about. You know, we've, we've gone over that in past readings where for this energy group, it's like they're being forced to, um, I would check out those readings if you're new to my channel, because those will probably resonate with you too, if, if this is your energy group. But, but yeah, it's like, you know, the energy, energy we talked about where they're being forced to take off the mask, they're being forced to look in the mirror, uh, deal with their traumas. There's, there's no place left to run. There's no place to hide. It's, it's divine justice, you know, spirit guide intervention. So they're, they're being forced to face this and to, to heal and grow and get on a better path. I feel like a lot of them kind of see you as their unicorn. They see you as like, their person and I'm getting the sense that because we, we, we looked into you know like what are they preparing themselves for so they're preparing themselves for it it's like they know how important this choice is they know that this could go either way either they could have the ten of swords where you just and, and three of swords where you just reject them heartbreak uh, just death and, and ending and a new beginning like a transformation like you could leave them completely alone you know, it's almost, I almost feel like some of them too, it's like, maybe they're not really connecting with anyone else in their life right now, or like they don't have a lot of options, or if they do have options, they're not really, um, like, I just feel like even if they're distracting themselves, it's like, they're not, if there's third parties, it's like, they're not really feeling the third parties right now. Like they're not really, um, I'm hearing like, I, like, I think she's, I think he or she is like stupid or ditzy or something for somebody. Like, they're really, like, I don't know. I feel like your person is, like, annoyed. This isn't for everybody. I think this is, like, one specific person that I'm channeling. But, like, for someone, like, the third party is really, like, annoying them right now. Like, I don't know. I think it's, like, her voice or her, um, like, she's, like, really bubbly, but almost like a fake bubbly, not, like, a cute bubbly. Like, she tries to be cute, but she looks, I don't know. It, it's just, like, this energy I'm getting where it's, like, someone's uh, person is getting really annoyed by the karmic right now. Like they're just really seeing the karmic in like not a good light right now um, for one or two of you. But in general, I just feel like they're not really connecting deeply with people right now. And I feel like you being one of the few people in their life that they do deeply connect with, it kind of weighs heavily on them. Like there's a lot of anxiety and fear about coming forward because it's like, I feel like they f they have this sense of like, if they do lose you, it's like, they're going to just feel completely alone. Like, it's just like, you're their unicorn. You know what I mean? Like, it's just going to be devastating. They're not going to, they know they're, they're finally coming to this realization that the kind of love, the kind of the depth, the, the connection that you, you two have, they're finally coming to this realization that they're not going to find that with somebody else. I think they did try to replace you or try to look for that kind of deep connection, that spiritual connection with other people. And I just don't think that they could find it. They, they didn't find it with anybody. In fact, I'd say a lot of them found the exact opposite of you. They found the exact opposite of the kind of energy that they were looking for, the kind of warm, nurturing, loving, empathetic energy that they tried to uh, find in somebody else. It's like it just kind of backfired. They, they really were not able to find it. But yeah, it's like they see you as their unicorn. So they feel like if they come in and you reject them, it's like it's just going to be too devastating for them. So there's a lot of anxiety. I feel like they're coming like I feel like that, that energy is building up more because I mean, I don't know if you guys remember what was that like four or five days or so ago, however long ago that was where I did a um a reading about how for this energy group, it's like they're they're wanting to step up and send you a message. They know this is like the final battle. They know that you're you're pretty much done or you're you're very close to just being completely done. They know that you're seeing them differently. They know that they've broken your heart and lost your trust. They know that there's a lot of work to do that they would really have to put a lot of effort and and make a pretty, you know, decent gesture for you to be open to giving this a second chance. Like they would really need to prove themselves to you. And so I just feel like this is like a continuation of that story where it's building up where when I did that reading, I mean, I did get a sense of urgency with them sending you a message, but this, this is, seems like even more like, like it's building more and more, you know what I mean? Like this is even more of a sense of urgency like that. It's, it's, it's building up a lot is what I'm feeling. I feel like they're really getting in their head too. And they're just giving themselves the anxiety. Cause like I said, they're like, this could be like the worst thing ever, like, like reaching out, taking that leap of faith. This could like destroy me. 
mentally, emotionally, like heartbreak, like, you know, my person could end up like leaving me alone. It might be too late. They might just reject me. They might say, you know, enough is enough. I'm done. And they kind of have this feeling like, well, that would be my karma. I would deserve that. Or it could go either way. And they're like, well, I could also, you know, with the with the viewers, it's like they're like, well, I it could go the other way. And I could have everything with with my person. I could have 10 of cups, which is true love, happiness uh, that, you know, just perfection, you know what I mean? Like family, home, just everything. So they're kind of at that point, that crossroads where they're like, damn, like whatever I do next is going to determine whether I, whether this ends in heartbreak um, or whether this is like, you know, the, the first step towards a new beginning, towards having that 10 of cups with my person. So there's, there's a lot of anxiety there. I'm just getting, I'm getting like, you can kind of tell too, like when I'm channeling someone with anxiety, I mean, cause I deal with anxiety myself, don't get me wrong, but I try to be kind of clear when I do these readings, but sometimes like if I get really flustered or anxious or I'm like talking, like just, you know, saying the same thing over and over, it's like, I'm kind of channeling this person's energy. This person's anxiety com kind of comes out through me in these readings and that's what I'm feeling here where they're like, oh my God, this could be 10 of swords or this could be 10 of cups. This could be, you know, absolute devastation, heartbreak, uh, ending in just me being alone, or it could be like everything I've ever wanted. I do feel like a lot of you are open to giving this a chance though. Like I, th I think that, I think they're making like the worst assumptions in their head, but I think, I mean, I think it is bad. It's not like, it's not like uh, they should downplay it like it is pretty bad like you are seeing them differently you are not seeing them as a real man anymore or a real woman or however you want to word that you're not you don't really trust them very much anymore or at all anymore you don't really have a lot of faith in this connection you see this as somebody that's just going to mentally torment you mentally uh confuse you gaslight you it's, you know repeat the same patterns just break your heart over and over again like you're not seeing I don't think you're seeing it in a great way but I mean I think that you still have that love for this person deep down I think you still acknowledge the the soul connection that's there um but like I said I feel like they would really have to do a lot to to get your attention to get you to uh to want to give this another chance, they would have to come forward correctly. Eight of eight of wands is like travel communication. It's a message coming in, but I, again, I feel like they would have to send a message in in the proper way. Like no no gaslighting, no trying to one up you, no games, no manipulation. Like just you know being honest, being vulnerable. Um, you know letting you know that they do love you, that they do want to work things out with you, that they you know, don't want third parties that they, you know, showing you that, that it's worth fighting for. They, they have to, they would have to be the one to show you that it's worth fighting for, to show you that, you know, that you are, that they are working on themselves, that they are going to do right by you, that they do actually genuinely love you. Because I think a lot of you don't even feel loved by this person. All the, all the hell they put you through. I think at this point you're like, you don't even really feel like this person, loves you or you feel like you're just kind of you know like they just had you as an option just kind of took you for granted so they would have to really come forward in the physical okay let's wrap this reading up what are what are they gonna do but yeah they have this sense of urgency like they know there's there's not much time left they can tell that you're you know every day that goes by you're you're distancing yourself more and more Cause you're going off what you're seeing too. If they're not making, if they're not taking any action, if they're just letting you go, it's like, you're gonna, you know, you're not, what are you going to do? Convince them to fight for you? No, you're going to, you're going to go ahead and go and you're going to manifest somebody that is actually going to love you properly and is going to give you, you no, know, isn't going to want other third parties, somebody that's, that's going to be sure about you. Somebody that's not going to need to go out there and, and look and try to see what else is out there. Why the Eight of Swords and the Devil? Two of Cups. They are they are like obsessed. They are in their head and they are obsessed with the idea that you're already with somebody else. Queen of Cups. They're like obsessing over they're obsessing over like a certain thought right now. I think it's I think it's the idea that you're with somebody else. I don't think most of you are. I mean, some of you like did you guys meet the new person yet that I've been channeling? 
Like, have you guys met anybody recently? Because I feel like most of you, it's like the new person is in your energy field and like you're close to meeting them. But I don't think you've, I don't think most of you have actually like met them yet. What are they obsessing? There's some kind of thought that they're obsessing over. And they're like, what if he or she, like, what if my person gives all this energy to somebody else? Like, it's like, it's like this, if, if I can't have you, nobody can kind of energy. You know what I mean? And they're not even realizing they're hurting themselves because it's like they could have you if they stepped up. But if if they, you know, healed their devil energy, if they really stepped up, if they were vulnerable, authentic, you know, put aside their ego and pride and fear um, and, and took a bold leap of faith towards you, I think that you actually would be open to this again. I think that you actually would be, you know, it'd be, it'd be some work to rebuild the trust, but I think you would at least hear them out and give them a chance to rebuild that trust. But it's it's so weird. It, I'm just saying that because it's like so weird that they're in this like, if I can't have you, nobody can energy because it's like they could have you. So it's like they'd rather, it, it's like this person just thinks from like such a low vibrational mindset that they can't. It's like they're stuck in this eight of swords where they can't see that there's somebody that's like in the eight of swords is like in this victim mentality where they're blindfolded and they can't see that there's a way out. Because if this woman, if this man or woman were to just take off the blindfold and the ropes, there's there's a clear opening right there behind them. Like they could just walk out. They would be good. And their castle is there in the background. Like they would be fine. They could get everything they wanted. But Eight of Swords is somebody that's so focused on the, the swords around them that they're not even seeing the bigger picture. They're not, they're not even seeing a way out. They're not, they're not seeing the sun. They're not seeing, it's like this person's in like a state of darkness. They're not seeing that the sun is right there in front of them, trying to illuminate their path, trying to guide them. Their spirit guides are trying to guide them, but they're in such a, a dark kind of victim mentality right now that they're not seeing things clearly. Because I'm just getting that there's like this idea that they're obsessed with. It's like, yeah, it's like I if I can't have you, no one can have you. And it's like, I don't know why they're not recognizing. It's like they could have you if they stepped out of if they stepped out of this energy into the sun. Uh, you know, they, they could have that with you. They could be the one to have this two of cups with you. But it's almost like they're not they're not seeing that. They're just seeing it. It's like this person's so negative that they just see like they assume the worst and they and they just seem they see rejection everywhere. Even when they're not being rejected, they'll just like they're very quick to like assume the absolute worst about people or assume that like everyone dislikes them or everyone's gonna reject them or hurt them. Like they're they're very they don't really, their perception is is very uh, distorted. They really, someone needs to work on that. But anyway, tell me more about this. Let's wrap this reading up. Tell me more about this thought that they're obsessed with. Because, yeah, Eight of Swords, it's like, and especially with the devil, it's like there's a certain thought that they're just in their head about feeling trapped. Like, Page of Swords. Some could be spying on your social media, and you might be posting things that are, like, making them jealous or making them worried. Or if you're acting different on some kind of like social platform, if you're if you're on some kind of like, you know, any kind of platform, really, be it YouTube, be it social media, whatever, it's like they're worried about something like your energy has shifted. Some of them kind of have this like negative assumption of you that if you're <laughs> some of them almost see you as like codependent and they almost have this like idea in their head that if you're letting them if you're uh how do I explain this? Sorry, give me a minute to see what I'm channeling here. Let's see. It's like they almost have this idea in their head that if you're not chasing them, if you're not giving them attention, you must surely have somebody new. Because why would you just be confident enough on your own to be done being treated like shit and stand up for yourself and come into your power and you know, just get comfortable being alone while, while you manifest new friends, new love and new life. Like, like they, it's kind of, it's kind of sad that they look at you like that, but some of them do. We got that reading too recently where it's like somebody didn't realize how confident you are and they're starting to realize it. That was like the most recent reading I did, I think, where it's like someone really like took you for granted and like really did not realize how powerful you were. They really didn't realize how confident you are. And yeah, it's like this energy I get is just, 
it's like they're assuming like if you're not saying much or if you're if you're you're just acting differently basically is what I'm getting either you're saying a lot less than you used to say on social media or your energy is different on social media or some kind of platform like there's some kind of energy shift that they're feeling and they're picking up on it and they're like in their head and they're like seeing it like they're they're looking for confirmation like they're assuming they're assuming things and then they're like they're looking somewhere for confirmation or they're talking to their friends and their friends are kind of like confirming their biases this is like somebody that will almost um it's like they have like these very like negative biases and I almost feel like they'll go to their friends or family people who are kind of like in that similar vibration as them to like confirm their negative biases does that make sense it's almost like if somebody uh like let's say this person like believes somebody's cheating on them or they believe that um somebody's just out to get them just everybody's you know everyone's gonna hurt them everyone's out to get them that kind of mentality it's like they'll they'll go and they'll tell somebody like they'll vent to a friend or someone and they'll just tell them the absolute like worst things about this person and then of course naturally the friend is going to be like oh yeah you can't trust that person but they didn't tell the friend like both sides of the story or like other you know personality traits of this king or queen of cups they only told them it, it's like that what is it like confirmation bias or whatever it's called where it, it's like I might be using the wrong term I forget what it's called but it, but it, but yeah it's like they go to the, these friends or family members and they just they they're careful they might not even realize they're consciously doing it but it's like they're careful how they word things it's like they word things in a very negative way so naturally it's like sabotage. It's like they're trying to sabotage themselves. And I feel like sometimes their spirit guides like push back on them and they're like, no, like don't sabotage. And they kind of push them to take a leap of faith. And then I think your person here gets freaked out because they're like, oh my God, like I don't want to take a leap of faith. I'm scared. I want to stay in my comfort zone. So what do they do? They go to this friend or family member who's in a similar lower vibra low vibration, just like they are. And they, they get that they get it's like they get third parties to block the connection with you and they might not they might not even realize that they're doing it but it's it's like it's like subconscious sabotage is that making sense so it's like they'll go to this person and just tell them like the worst things about you or whatever or just you know horrible things so that way the person will be like oh yeah that sounds like that that sounds like this king or queen of cups is a cheater or a liar or yeah it totally sounds like you're being manipulated or you know whatever just so that they can so they can have that like so they're not just in their head fighting with their spirit guides they can be like no like my my mom or my dad told me they 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 confirmed they they said they gave me advice they said this person's toxic or this best friend of mine said this said this person sounds like a cheater or like a liar or whatever so I bet you know it's like I bet they're right um but yeah they're looking for confirmation on social media or some kind of platform too Cause it's like, they just, yeah, like I said, it's like, they feel like you couldn't possibly like, they feel like you would only move on if you had somebody else. Like they don't think you would start moving on just out of self-respect, which is really sad that they don't, you know, if you treat someone like garbage again and again, you can't really expect their energy to still crave you. Eventually, you know, they, someone, this queen of cups, king of cups, like loses that ability to, to trust someone, to feel safe, to feel vulnerable. And they're not taking responsibility for how they've, le you know, led this connection there in a lot of ways um, and what they would need to do to step up and really uh, get this connection back on track, you know, give this one last chance because she's not going to, she, she might give this one last chance, but that's, that's about it. Like I don't, and every day that goes by, it's like, she's rethinking it, you know, he or she is rethinking it. So they, they know that there's a sense of urgency. Anyway, let me, let's wrap this up. Tell me more about this thought that's in their head that they're just obsessing over. I feel like it's the idea that you're moving on or that you're with somebody else. Emperor, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Yeah, they know that you're standing your ground and you're waiting long term for an emperor. You're waiting for somebody who's going to have that like daddy energy here or or empress emperor or empress male or female but you're waiting for somebody that's like gonna be in a strong like somebody that's sure about you somebody that's assertive somebody that pursues you that texts you every day that just knows that they want you 
they know yeah king of cups too it's like they you're they're match you know they're a match right here they know that it, it's like they can feel i feel like some of you are kind of um it's like the more time that goes by that they just don't make a move, the more you lose interest and start really thinking about manifesting somebody new. Because Nine of Pentacles is somebody that's single upright, like single abundant. But I, I feel like like reverse, the way I'm taking it at least in this context is like they know you're not going to be single for long. Even if you're single right now, they know that you're they know what you're wanting. They know that you're manifesting a, a king, like a king and queen of cups, like a divine divine counterparts. They know that you're man, you're not dealing with any bullshit anymore. It's either they're going to be this person or somebody new is going to be this person for you. But you're only going to accept someone into your life that's emotionally available with you, that's open, that's honest, that's vulnerable, that takes your mental health seriously. Like they they know that you're manifesting. They know you're standing your ground. They know you're not going to be single for long. Like somebody's pissed off too. Like they're mad about it, but it's like they're not doing anything. So it's on them. Like this person's ridiculous. Three of Wands waiting. Yeah, I feel like they're really in their head too because they know it's like they know if they wait that they're going to get to a point where there is going to be a lot of competition for you. They know that you're in your glow up, that you're highly desirable right now. So they're kind of seeing it as like, like they feel like they, they kind of, some of them already feel like you're with somebody. Um, even if you're not, they're just, they're assuming that you are. But those of them that are still thinking that you're just like single, but you are manifesting somebody new. It's like, they're kind of in their head too, because they know if they wait too long and they come back, you are going to probably be with someone and it's going to be a lot harder to compete for your attention then. Yeah, they're having a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights about this. It's like they're wanting to build something. King of Swords. Yeah, they have to walk away from being the King of Swords if they want to build something because you're not going to tolerate that. If they want victory with you. Some of them are going to try to bring your past again. Someone, some of them, I'm getting a weird message here. For, this is probably just for someone specific, but someone's going to try to use your past against you. They're going to try to confuse you because they're almost like, the energy I'm getting here is almost like they're like angry that they have to let go of the King of Swords mentality if they want to be with you. Like, they're like, damn it, I have to let go of my... They're, like, in this position. They're, like, in between a rock and a hard place where they're like, damn it, I have to, like, let go of my pride and my ego and, you know, head over heart and defensive defense mechanisms. I have to let go of all that if I want to be with my person. I have to leave this energy behind if I want victory with my true love. If I want them to give me a second chance, you know, if I want to get there before this new person comes in, I'm going to have to leave this bullshit behind. And I, I'm getting like an anger. I'm honestly getting like they're, they're pissed that they have to do this, which is, it's like such a strange energy. It's so, I don't know if entitled is the right word, but it's like, like, why wouldn't they have to leave this behind? Why would they think that you just, why do they think that that's okay for you to have to deal with that? You know what I mean? It's like, that's the entitlement. It's like, they really think that because they've gone through a lot of traumas or heartbreak, they think that it's just justified for people to have to, you know, like they get to play games with other people because other people in the past have hurt them. But it's like, no, that Queen of Cups didn't hurt them. Someone from their past did. Parents did. Uh, family members did. Exes did. They don't get to put that on people that never did anything to hurt them. They don't, they don't get to... It's almost like this very toxic mentality of like, well, well I've been hurt and I've been... People have played games with me. People have been in power struggles with me. So I get to bring that into my connections now. I get to I get to play games with people now because that's what's that was what was done to me. Like very bitter energy. And yeah, it's like they're kind of pissed off because yeah, because they have to leave that mentality behind if they want to be with you. You're not any sign of gaslighting or mental abuse, you're you're not doing it. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're not doing it. You're going to call them out. You're going to be like, no, you either you either step up correctly or you lose me and that's it. 
It's like they can't play games with you anymore, and they're mad about it. Like, how 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 ridiculous is that, you guys? Like, they can't play games, and they're pissed that they can't play games with you. Like, who who does that? Like, who, like, this energy I'm picking up, it's like, are you, like, seriously, King of Swords? Like, what the hell? No. <laughs> Like, it's like, it's like they, they feel like the victim. It's like, they feel like, like you did something wrong for not letting them play games with you anymore. Like, how dare you not let them mentally abuse you anymore? <laughs> Hell no. Anyway, for someone specific, I'm getting the message that, that they are going to try to use something from your past against you. It's like, cause they're going to have this bitterness about having to let this go. So they might even try to create an illusion that they're talking to someone from the past to make you jealous and it's not going to work. For others, I'm getting this sense of like, it's almost, it's, it's a really back and forth energy. It kind of, it's kind of like upsetting almost because it's almost like they actually do have, let's see. Yeah, like an end to the breadcrumbing tower, like overnight change, making a judgment call. It's almost like they have like what I see coming in for them. For some, it's already happened. For some, it's about to come in. But for some, I see them like having this epiphany where they're like, okay, I have to let go of this energy, but they're pissed about it. But they're going to like be, they're going to be made aware of it and they're not going to be able to hide that fact. They're going to be like, okay, I definitely, I know I have to let go of this if I want victory with my person. And it's almost like they're almost going to start getting on a good path where they're like, okay, I'm letting go of this. Like, I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to do it. And then I see their like manipulative side kicking in where they're like, well, wait, I'm going to try this strategy then. Okay. Like all my defenses are down. It's like their defenses are going to be down and they're not going to be comfortable. And so some of them are going to go back to like another tactic to, to try to manipulate, you know what I mean? Because they're going to be like, well, I don't have the king of swords like that wall in front of me anymore so I guess I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna come in I'm gonna send this message they're trying to find loopholes this person is trying to find loopholes you can't find loopholes with spirit guides if you're not coming in correct the queen of cups king of cups they're gonna know this person's that you're messaging they're they're gonna they're gonna know if you're not if you're trying to manipulate them trying to one-up them they're gonna it's, it's gonna be felt you can't hide like that you can't especially from spirit guides because their spirit guides will tell them what your intentions and your energy is towards them um either way you know what i mean like there's there's no there's no loophole here there's no and why would you want why would this person want to find a loophole to manipulate you know what i mean it's like mm -mm. They're going to, your spirit guides are going to block this person out if they keep that shit up. And they're just going to be blocked from your energy field if they keep trying to find ways to manipulate. Because it's, it's sad because it's like, yeah, they almost get on a good path. They're like, okay, this is like the path to victory. I'm vulnerable. I'm open. And then I almost feel like they're going to have like an anxiety attack where they're like, oh my God, I'm vulnerable and open. Like they're going to start feeling kind of good. They're going to feel that spiritual energy. Like, oh, okay. Like I'm, I'm on a new path. I'm, you know, things are progressing. And then it's almost like they're going to make themselves panic and they're going to be like, it's too exposed, too vulnerable. Okay. I'm coming in with this message, but I'm going to like, it's going to be like a manipulative message where it's going to be like, well, remember what you like trying to cause confusion or illusion. Like, well, remember what you did in the past too. Like, it's not like you did this and this and this, like kind of like almost like blaming you. <sighs> okay. Let's wrap this up. Tell me more about this. Tell me what are the final messages here? The fool. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Why the Three of Cups? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that they're gonna. I I do think that this person could potentially still get on a better path with you. I mean, it's kind of like a bumpy road. Um. I do think it's bullshit though that they're still trying to find loopholes to manipulate this. But because it's almost like they take a few steps forward and then a few steps back. A few, it's like back and forth, you know. 
but I do feel them coming in. I do feel like there's they're they're going to want to work with you as a team, and I feel like you're going to want to work with them as a team too. I feel like you're going to be pretty forward about the third parties, though. You're going to be like, I know about this, and you're going to have to let this go. You can't hold on to this if you want me. Yeah, you're going to ten of wands, letting something go, like the straw that broke the camel's back. And you're the queen of wands. King or queen of wands is what you are. You're, you know, male or female. You're very powerful, very um, attractive, magnetic. You're, you have this powerful aura about you. Um, yeah, this very powerful aura. And I feel like you're just going to speak your piece where you're going to be like, you, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll work with you, but you're letting go of third parties. Like there's, there's not, it's, it's me. She knows her worth. It's like, it's me or it's nobody, you know? I mean, it's, it's, you know, if you want me, there's not going to be anybody else in the picture. Yeah. She, I feel like you'll be able to like, you'll work through with this person. I feel like it's also saying too, that if this person does come forward with the message and if you do want to work through things with them, you still need to be wise. You still need to be in your queen of wands, queen of swords energy, even if male or female, you still need to be balanced because even if this person is working on themselves, it's like you can be patient and understanding and, you know, work on having that open, honest communication with this person. But you still need to be aware of red flags and you still need to be because some of them, it's like they're going to come in, they're going to sweet talk you, but then they're going to try to get you comfortable so they can go back to doing the same shit as before. And you're going to have to be the queen of swords and put your foot down. You're going to have to some of them might try to negotiate like if there is a third party, they might try to negotiate with you like, oh, like I'm getting, you know, I'm getting divorced from him or her like all. You know, it's it's going to I'm we're going to end it soon. You know, I'm just they're, they're going to make excuses or they're going to say like some of them, like if their relationship status on like social media is single, they're going to be like, oh, I just, you know, people don't like they're going to make some excuse to be able to like play the field for some of you, not for all of you, but for those that were dealing with someone that was kind of in that player energy dealing with third parties. For some, I feel like they're going to try to make some excuse so that they can keep doing that. They're going to try to win you back, but they're going to try to also get you to be um, like get you to be comfortable and open again so that they can slowly ease their way back into doing whatever they want. And so if you are giving this person another chance, that's fine, but it's telling you you have to still be strong. You have to stay in your queen of swords energy with this person too. You can't just dive right back into old patterns. You can't, um, cause this person has shown you that when you're empathetic and gentle and loving that they just take it for granted. They just treat you like old reliable. So, and it's, I'm not saying to be a bitch to this person. I'm not saying to be cutthroat with this person. Like the queen of swords is logical. She's not, this isn't somebody that's going to slit your tires or going to be deranged and dramatic. I'm not talking about that. That's not confidence. That's insecurity. The Queen of Swords is, is she's logical, she's powerful, same as Queen of Wands. It's like, so it's not being dramatic with this person or just, you know, yelling or talking shit. It's, it's more of this energy of, I'm going to speak my, I'm going to be truthful, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be assertive, but I'm going to do it in a balanced way. I'm going to be gentle and empathetic, but I'm also going to stand my ground here. I'm, I'm going to be strong. I'm not going to let anybody gaslight me or, you know, pull one over on me. I'm going to be aware of what's going on around me. I'm, I'm going to, it's kind of like being on guard a little bit, you know, uh, finding that balance, being patient and understanding with this person and really working on trusting them again and working on open, honest communication, but being mindful of the red flags and being mindful of any patterns. Cause yeah, like I said, for some, it's like, they're going to try to manipulate you into, um, Going back to old cycles, karma, cycles, wheel of fortune. They're going to try to manipulate you into, I just see, I, for some, it's like if they're still with a third party, they're going to try to give you some bullshit about how, you know, they, they're wrapping the divorce up or the third, they're going to try to blame the third party is kind of what I'm feeling too. Like they're going to be like, oh, the third party is dramatic and crazy and you know, I'm, I'm scared to leave them or I'm scared they're going to hurt themselves if I leave or th they're going to have some bullshit excuse why they can't leave the third party. And they're probably going to try to pit you against the third party so that you don't blame them when they're actually the issue. The third party is not the issue. They're the issue. 
For others, if they're not really currently with someone, but they're just kind of wanting to be a player and explore their options, they're going to give you some bullshit excuse as to why they why they want to stay single on social media. Like they're going to say, oh, like my um, I'm getting something about like family or friends like, oh, like my family doesn't know about you yet or they're they're going to they're going to try to buy themselves time. They're going to try to slowly get you back into that old. Yeah, that old pattern, old energy. Mm -mm. Yeah, you have to balance because there's things that are hidden. So you have to you have to be smart. You have to you have to use your intuition. You have to listen to your intuition. Don't let this person get in your head and gaslight you. Listen to your intuition above all else. Um, and it's hard if someone's like cheated on you or something or there's been some kind of lack of trust. Like, you know, there is going to be fear there. There is going to be times when you're paranoid that that's still happening. But if this person's coming forward and they're genuinely wanting to work things out with you and be loyal to you, you're, to you, you're going to feel that. Because if you if they're still in that energy of like, oh, I don't want to commit or I, you know, I can't leave the third party yet or, they're you know, making excuses, then you're going to know. So I'm just putting that out there because for some of you, it's like you might be like, well, how do I listen to my intuition? Because it's it's going to be, you know, if this person broke your trust, that's going to be hard because you're going to be in that energy where you're going to always expect the worst. You're going to be scared. You're going to be on guard. You're going to be like, oh, my God, like, do they have other people like you're going to you know what I mean? Like you might normally be very gentle and very open and very um you know, assuming the best about people. But if this person showed you, you know, the same bullshit again and again and again, you might get to that point where you're just like, you expect them to cheat. You expect them to hurt you. So like work through that if you guys are working through that together, but also be balanced and be on the lookout for red flags. So you're going to, you'll know. I, I feel like you're just going to, your, your intuition is going to tell you, your spirit guides are going to tell you as long as you're open, as long as you're listening to the red flags, like you're going to, like you'll, you'll know, like, cause it'll be in your face too. Like if this person's making excuses, you know, cause you have to stand your ground. If this person comes forward and they're like, I want to be loyal to you. You're the only one I want. Be like, okay, like, why don't you update your relationship status then? Update your relationship status to say you're in a relationship with me then right now. Leave your phone here. If you're not talking to anybody else, leave your phone here for two hours right in front of me. And let's see, let's see, I'll give you a hundred bucks if like, you don't have at least one girl messaging you telling you off thinking that you guys were a couple. You know, it's like that you got to stand your ground, you got to be like, okay, you really want this, you really want to commit to me, let's commit right now, let's change your relationship status, we're together now. You need to tell your parents you need you need no, you don't need time for that call them right now, be like, hey, I, I have a new girlfriend, I have a new boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like, it, within reason of course like be reasonable with this person but like I'm saying it's like you you have to you're gonna there's gonna be a little bit of a power struggle where you're gonna have to show this person it's almost like I mean I hate to say it but it's almost like a child it's almost like it, it sucks to say it but it's, it's almost like a child that you have to teach them how to how to behave with you you have to it's like and that's why some of you are so turned off by this person at this point. You're like, damn, do I really want to teach someone to treat me well? But but yeah, I mean, honestly, if you want this person back, that's it's kind of the energy I'm feeling is you guys are going to have to teach this person how to treat you in a way because they're going to try to they're going to try to test the water is going to try to see what they can get away with. And you're going to have to stand in your power using your intuition, standing your ground and being like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> like, no, we're not doing that. And they're going to, it's going to be a power struggle, but I almost feel like it's, it's like, how do I explain this energy that I'm seeing? It's a power struggle, but I almost see like, it could be like a back and forth. If you're negotiating with this person, if this person is trying the same shit and you're like lowering your vibration to meet them there and be in that drama with them and you're going back and forth and yeah I think it's just gonna you're just gonna go in circles with this person you know what I mean like if this person wants to be a player and you're like arguing and trying to negotiate and you're not like you're unsure of yourself this person's gonna keep testing you but I almost see like something else that could happen here whereas the high priestess the queen of wands queen of swords you can just stay in your power I almost see like a wall like a block not negotiating not stooping not going down to their vibration but just staying in your power like I'm like, no, you, you, you can be in a relationship with me now, like, or, or I don't want this. Or I'm not waiting anymore. We, I've waited long enough. You know, like we can do this now or I can move on or, 
you know, like, okay, you want to be single? I'll be single too. I'll go play the field too. Like that kind of energy where it's almost like a wall. It's, do you understand the energy difference? Like, I don't know if anyone's even stayed this long for the video, but if you have like, do you guys understand like the energy difference I'm talking about where there's like a difference? It's like a power struggle in a way, both ways, but one way is very like back and forth, like, you know, just going in circles. And the other way is just it's almost like you're not engaging in the power struggle. You just, you're in your power. You're, you're just in this dominant energy because you have to be, because you can't trust this person. So this person will, it's almost like I see like a wall. So it's like this person will almost be in a power struggle with themselves. They're not, they're going to try to test this and try to get past this wall. And it's just going to be bounced back on them. It's going to try to test something else, try something else. It's going to bounce right back. It's almost like they're going to be doing it to themselves and they're going to exhaust themselves to the point where they're like, okay, screw it. I'm going to come up here and meet you at your level. I'm going to match this energy. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's not, it's, it's not drama. It's not negotiating. It's not getting wrapped up and in, in letting them get in your head and manipulate you. It's, it's just, you know what you are, you know, you know what you are. So maybe some of you are like, you're, I'm hearing like, I don't know. I don't even know what a star seed is, but I hear that term. But some of you are like in that energy where you're like the high priestess, like you're very spiritual, very divinely protected, divinely guided. Like, you know what your soul is, you know who you are, you know what you want. So it's just standing in that power and confidence where it's like, there's, there's no negotiation. If you don't want to be with me, then I need to go be with somebody who is ready to commit to me. Not, not arguing, not just, just a simple no, like this is, I want a relationship. If you don't want that, I should be with somebody who does want that. You know what I mean? Like if you want to entertain third parties, go for it. I'm not going to be there for that. You know, not, not arguing, not trying to convince them just, just in your power, just, just, you know, and what I see happening is, is almost like I said, you have to teach this person how to treat you. They're going to try to get away with whatever they can get away with. Um, they're going to test the waters. They're going to try to one up you and you're going to have to stay strong and have to stay in this high priestess, queen of wands, queen of swords, energy, male or female. And eventually they'll exhaust themselves and they'll be kind of bitter and angry about it. Cause they'll be kind of annoyed that they couldn't one up you or what it's it's like such a toxic way of them seeing this like connection as like a game or something but eventually they're going to get it through their head that you're not settling for that that you're not going back to that that there is there's no loophole there's no manipulation she's she's not going to be open to any kind of manipulation to any kind of games if they want to play that they can go do that with some insecure karmic but they can't do that with you mm -mm. and i think some of them will you know, like I said, I think that eventually they'll exhaust themselves and eventually they'll they'll realize that they have to match you. They they'll realize that there's that there's no loopholes. I think that they're gonna also let's see. Yeah, I feel like some of them are actually gonna do the healing work too to to move things from rough waters to calmer waters with you with the chariot. I almost feel it's like you're going to almost be helping this person be more of a real man or a real woman. Does that make sense? It's almost like you're going to be um, like you might be in a feminine role, but it's almost like you're going to teach them. You're going to show them what you want, show them what you're looking for, show them what energy you're willing to accept. Um, and you're going to kind of teach them almost slowly. It's like it's like a very wounded divine masculine. So it's like this person is probably like a, a divine masculine deep down. But they act like more of a karmic masculine because of their their wounding, their, the way their mind works, their traumas. So it's almost like your energy just being in your power like this and, and showing them, telling them what you will and will not tolerate and sticking to that, not letting them, you know, not letting them, you know, because they're going to try little games here and there, big games, little games. They're going to try it. They're going to try it all. But standing in your power like that, it's almost like you're going to be kind of showing them, um, you're going to be teaching them through your energy how to step up and be a true divine masculine. You know what I mean? It's like trial and error. Like they're going to, at first they're going to be bitter and annoyed and they're going to think like maybe your standards are too high, but eventually as they grow and heal, I feel like they're going to see it differently from like a new perspective. They're going to be like, oh, that's, you know, like she's really not asking for that much. She's just asking to be loved properly. She's just asking for attention, for affection, for commitment. That's not you know, like, 
they're going to realize you're not asking for too much. You're asking for very normal things that anyone would want in a relationship. And, and yeah, that's just, that's the energy I'm feeling here is, um, yeah, just, just the high priestess, just teaching them over time. Cause I feel like too, you know, it's like when those games don't work with you, when they try manipulative tactics to get your attention and it doesn't work, it's like they have to try something else. And they're, they're in such a low vibration right now that they're not, um, they're not seeing things clearly. So they're not like, there's higher, how do I explain it? It's like, there's higher vibrational tactics that would get your attention, like in a positive way. But they're in such a low vibrational state right now, just in their head, that they're not seeing that. So they're going to try all these low vibrational tactics. And it's like, at some point, they're not going to work. And they're almost going to be forced to go into a higher vibration to get your attention. It's going to be very unfamiliar for them, but it's like your, your energy is going to say like, no, I want a commitment. I want affection. And it's almost like I want attention. Like I want someone that's going to message me daily. I want, I want that. I want a real relationship, something solid. And it's almost like they're going to have to step into that energy and it's going to be very unfamiliar, but it's going to kind of push them into that higher vibration where it's going to feel like unnatural and kind of confusing at first, but then they're going to get used to it. And they're actually going to like that energy in the end. They're going to be like, oh, wow, this is like different. This relationship is different. This love is different. This connection is just so different. This vibration I'm, I'm coming into is different. So it's like, you're really teaching them a lot. Um, and anyway, I'm going to put this out there. I hope this resonates with you guys. I really appreciate your comments too. Even just leaving a heart comment below. It really helps me. I love hearing your stories too. And I will be doing that new love reading within the next couple of days here as well, finally. So thank you guys for your patience.